Hey guys, Ben up here. Today we are wrapping some of our electronics that we're going to keep in the Faraday cage in aluminum foil. Uh, it's called nesting and it's just another layer of protection for your electronics. So what you're going to need aluminum foil and something to wrap. First thing we're wrapping up today is this uh, battery charger that I got at that uh, garage sale for free like a few weeks ago. Uh, it's I'm pretty sure this thing's brand new never been used and if possible I like to keep things in the box because this will poke through the aluminum foil pretty easily so we wrap it up in the box and then drop some aluminum foil it's kind of like wrapping a present at least that's what my daughter says Most of an opening first. I don't know, it's just part of my OCD, I guess. Now, sometimes the aluminum foil that you get, or at least in my case, was pretty flimsy, so you might want to wrap it again the other direction, which we're going to do right now. There we go. Doesn't have to be beautiful, just has to be completely sealed up. Next, we are going to write. Um, battery charger. Then we will take this and throw it into a box and we'll fill this whole thing up with other wrapped up electronics and this is a perfect size for my shelf in my Faraday cage. Let's do another one. As you can see, there's still an opening here, so we're going to wrap it again. And there's the opening, so we're going to put it down this way, so we make sure that that opening gets covered. This one is, which is another battery charger, and we will set this somehow, kind of like a game of Tetris, in here with the other charger. Now I also have a couple of the other things that I have wrapped already. Here we have a just a really cheap uh, CB radio, but we're going to put it in here because communication is important. We also have here an old school uh, walkie-talkie, it's a two-channel walkie-talkie, but it has crystals in it. And so I put the crystals in there with the 9 volt battery that it requires, and that's wrapped up separately so it's not going to leak in acid in there. We'll put this in here. And here is the mic for the CB. We're going to find a place to put that. Now here I have a little battery operated handheld uh, sewing machine, as seen on TV. Uh, I've never opened this, I've never used it, so it's all brand new still in here. And I'm just going to fold this up and wrap it up as well. Now we'll try to find a perfect spot for this, which I think we may reorganize this a bit. To fit everything better. Okay, we have plenty more room for other stuff. Okay, next we have one of the little talk about radios, two way radios that I got at a garage sale recently. You can see it works. I'm going to pop off that little clip, 
Take the batteries out. Whenever you're going to store any of these electronics, make sure there's no batteries in them. We can wrap those up later on. And now we can wrap up this radio. So the belt clip is going to be the part that is going to rip your aluminum foil the most or the easiest. A couple ways you can deal with that. One, just take it off, not put it on, but then you're not going to have it when you do want it. So I'm just going to leave it on. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold my aluminum foil in half just to make it a little thicker on the front side. I will lay my radio there and I'll just fold this all up around it. Making sure I put as many of the layers thickness as I can on that clip. So now we have it completely sealed in. Now this one here I'm not going to label just because I have a special plan for this. Now you can tell what this is just by looking at the shape of it. It's kind of like when somebody gives you a bowling ball for Christmas and they wrap it up or a baseball bat. You know what it is. This is one of the two-way radios. Um, in here I have a few of the two-way radios. I have a couple of the um, AM FM uh, shortwave radios in here. I have a flashlight in here. One of my uh, Techmaster lights in there. Put all of that in there. Wrap everything up completely. This is a pack of batteries. So we're going to put this in here as well. Right on the top. Now what I've chosen to put everything in for this is a paint can. When I was playing with one of my two-way radios, or uh, AM FM radios, it fell in here and the sound just went dead. So I am using this as another uh, nesting Faraday cage. What we're going to do is take some of our aluminum foil, not much, a little bit, lay it right on top. Then we're going to find our lid and stick it right on there. Push it in, give it a bonk with the hammer. Okay, now we have a nice good seal on there. Uh, you can leave this on there if you want to or not. Um, I always just end up ripping it off. As long as it's in that seal, I really don't care. foil right in through the seal. The seal put all the way down. I can stick this into another box or I can stick this directly into the parity cage as it is. One tip about wrapping batteries, either keep them in a completely plastic sealed uh, container like this where nothing's touching. Make sure there's no openings, none of the contacts are uh, available to be touched by any of the aluminum foil or into a Ziploc bag like this. Uh, if not, and the aluminum foil uh, covers over everything, well, it would be bad. I still have a lot more to wrap, but you can see I have this box almost done. In this box here, I have a Nintendo system, some speakers, little portable uh, speakers here power cord for the portable speakers uh, and here I have some controllers and power cords and AV cables for the Nintendo I just have uh, also my hard drives are in here this one is a 2 terabyte drive that has music and movies on it and that one there is completely full with movies in it and I still have a bunch more to wrap. Don't forget, if you wrap up a game system, you're going to want to wrap up some games to go with it. 
because most of them have computer chips in them too unless it's the newer versions that are CDs I don't know how they'll react but I know that the chips in the games will fry as well and then don't forget to label the front of the box that way you don't have to dig through every single box to find out exactly what's in it last thing you're going to want to keep in mind is don't forget to wrap all of your power cords as well because they all have uh, chips or diodes or transistors or all kinds of different electronics in them and you want them to work as well having an electronic without any power source is going to make that electronic useless that's all i have for right now i'm going to get back to wrapping all this stuff up uh, as always don't forget to comment rate subscribe and we'll see you guys on the next video